Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for um, the month of June 2018 and I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here, thank you for being back. This month of June is going to be wonderful, it has um, the energy vibration of um, the energy of the Sun, okay? So we have um, the energy of the Sun coming in for June and this is going to be extremely extremely wonderful so this is going to be a powerful month and in this month we need to be aware of certain aspect and certain things okay whatever that is happening to you in your life in this month it's going to be a change that is supposed to be coming in okay the month of June what do we have for the month of June we have um, the energy of fire but the zodiac energy of um, um, the air sign in the first two weeks and in the second and two last week we have the energy of water okay so um, this is going to be good this is going to be um, very very positive okay so let's look at the energy that we have in June we have four weeks which is wonderful and positive these four weeks because these four weeks is going to bring out an alignment of what to expect um, in the coming months and this is going to be um, very much um, a positive positive endeavor okay first week of June which is so fantastic we have the energy of the um, chariot energy of the chariot is a fire energy so this is good this is going to be positive for the fire sign and the earth signs because um and especially for the leos it's going to be good because what is going to happen and transpire is that you're going to be moving you're going to be moving in a positive direction um some people if you or um, wanted to buy a car or that sort of a thing it's going to be happening if you wanted to move to somewhere else vacation is on the rise so that is going to be happening as we look at the second week we have the energy of strength and all the fire energies this is a week for the Sagittarians this is going to be a wonderful powerful week for the Sagittarians because what will be happening in this second week of June is that you have the energy of the Sun that is going to help you to manage out certain aspects and certain situations in your life as we move forward to the third week we have the energy of water so this is the only week that has emotions to do with the emotions and this it's going to bring you a lot of in wisdom and guidance in the third week and this is going to be wonderful and positive as we look at the fourth week a wonderful month as I've said begin with the energy of the chariot thing and with the energy of the wheel of fortune now this wheel of fortune could be bringing a lot of Leo's um, positive energies a lot of Leo's are going to be receiving positive energies because um, it's as if it's a lucky month for you guys even though it's not your birthday it's a really 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 a lucky lucky month and it's also going to affect the cancer so let's move in and look and see what is connecting the first week with the second week this is the general energies I forget to say okay so what's connected in the first week with the second week you have the energy of the chariot and the energy of strength and you have the nine of swords the nine of swords so um, a lot of people will be having some worrisome thoughts some worrisome feelings because you have the energy of the nine of swords but not to worry um, it could be worse because you're deciding to move a lot of people will be moving a lot of people will be um, going on vacation so um, this energy of the nine of swords could be um, an energy of you worries uh, worried about um, situations um, that will be coming up and you have no need to worry because the energy of the Sun is here that is going to bring new life it's going to be a positive month it's going to be a month for um, going forward and it's going to be a yes month 
as we move forward we have the energy of the fool so um, the situation connecting the second week to the third week you are going to be going on a new journey and this is positive because I did said in the middle of in the beginning of the reading that this is going to be a month of a lot of movements because it's a month of vacation but it can also a month where people are changing jobs and people are starting a new studies and this sort of a thing so a lot of people are going to be looking for study financiering and um, and and a lot of um, new positive move in your life and this is going to be actually very very much positive as we look at the third week going in the fourth week we have the energy of the ten of swords we have the energy of the ten of swords so whatever the situation is there's a lot of activity of information and thoughts this is more of information and thoughts that are coming in and they are joining to connect the last week um, um, the third week and the last week okay so we need to break this down and we need to understand what is really happening um, for you guys and how this is going to affect your life and in what way is it going to affect your life because this is going to be a situation where you need to understand the changes that is about to happen so the worries of this new start that is happening you have worries of this new start because there's a lot of conflicts okay this new starts there is a lot of conflicts you have to find inner strength in whatever this the new start that you're about to um, do because there's a lot of conflicts that is coming up a lot of situations where um, you are finding conflict in situations that are happening for you and um, these conflicts and situation that are happening you need to really really um, come to um, a sort of a situation where you're going to think that okay um, I need to figure out what this conflict is all about and to resolve these conflicts that is going on okay so let's see what is this new start and the ten of swords what is this new start and the ten of swords it's an emotional situation it's an emotional situation that has to do with someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion it's a very emotional situation that has to do with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion so um, here you are seeing um, what is happening and what is transpiring because obviously there is a situation that is um, happening for you so this is why we do um, these general readings so that people can um, see um, situation that might not might not come up in your general readings so that you can um, definitely make a change so that this change won't affect you okay so that this change won't affect you so whatever that is happening you need to make a positive decision so that this change do not affect you and whoever this person is or um because this person carries the energy vibration of the queen of cups now and these queen of cups could be really 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 um irrational and this is a situation where there is a start of irrationality that is going on with the queen of cups what is going to be the outcomes for the general reading of june you have the energy of the king of pentacles you have the energy of the king of pentacles so um, some of you really wants to have this new starts and this new beginning and that sort of a thing and whatever the situation is with this um, queen of cup and this king of pentacles because a lot of you are going to be having situation to deal with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorns because this is the outcome of um, the general energies okay so let's recap on your month because it's very important to recap on the month of June so the month of June is more of a fire energy it's a fire energy because we have the energy of the Sun so it's it's going to be a very very much um, a fire energy that is going on um, with this um, situation there is going to be fire energies that is going on um, with these situations and so you have to really 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 um, deal with these situation because I'm seeing um, a situation of um, the hermit coming up 
um, and, and the hermit has the energy because the cancers will be having birthday in the second week okay so um, what is here transpiring and what is here that is happening is basically um, a double up of um, situations that will be transpiring because whatever is transpiring the energy of these um, worries and these sword energy communication and for a lot of people it's, it's going to affect a situation where there is a new start and a lot of people would like to make this new start but a lot of situation is happening out of your control and a lot of conflicts is happening so um, some of you have to find inner strength okay you're going to overcome this because in the first week you're coming in the month um, trying to overcome the the worries that you have and you're finding the inner strength as you look at um, um, the month going forward is that there's a lot of worries and you're finding the inner strength but you decide to move forward then you're going to be looking within for inner wisdom and guidance and by doing that um, whatever um, that people were lying and 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 um, this um, very decisive and very deceiving there's a there was a lot of lying and deceiving that was happening um, it's coming from a, a lifetime and a situation of lifetime and lifetime before because there it is showing up so whatever is happening um, the conflicts with this new start has to do with this Queen of Cups whether the Queen of Cups is she is working with um, this can be a Pisces a Cancer or a Scorpion and she is working with the King of Pentacles and the energy of the King of Pentacles has to do with um, has to do with um, it's as if these two people are working because it's, it's as if um, they have done something that was not um, totally come um, correct and um, this energy is um, really really coming up okay um, we are going to be looking at love to see what is happening for a lot of people in love to see how this situation is going to be transpiring and how um, you are going to be um, really really um, dealing with um, this sort of a situation that is happening okay um, this month I decided um, to change up certain um, situations and certain things um, um, because um, we want to align ourselves with um, positive energies and how to align ourselves with positive energy is to uh, yet to open up situation um, in our lives but yet still um, knowing how um, to move forward with certain situations so that we can um, move away from certain aspects okay so we are going to be looking at love um, love work or work money and love okay we're going to be looking at work money uh, money and love okay I am doing these um, different aspects that people are always looking at because obviously um, the new start is going to be um, okay you just have to find that positive inner strength to move you forward so let's see what is going to be happening for work for a lot of people in um, this um, month of June um, the four of swords some of you are going to be resting so of course it's a vacation time that some of you will be resting okay what is going to be happening how uh, what else is going to be happening for work because some of you will be resting because it's a vacation time um, the page of swords is coming in so information is going to be coming in um, about love and the four of ones um, so information is going to be coming in letting you know that there is a strong foundation for work in the month of June let's see the outcomes for work um, it's going to be 
um, the page the ten of swords in reverse okay so um, and this is um, good so um, as we um, look at um, work work for some people is that you're on vacation so you're resting and after this vacation and for others it's going to be a um, message coming in about a new um, endeavor about something new that is going to be coming in for you um, so um, if people were looking for work or looking for promotion it's going to be um, very positive whatever the lies that was told and that sort of a situation it is going to be um, really lifted and this is going to be good okay so let's look at money to see what is happening in your money section what does the month of June carries for um, finance for people um, what does it carry for finance for people you have the energy of the Queen the Queen of Pentacles okay so this could be an energy of the Queen of Pentacles that is going to be helping a lot of people to open up new doors and possibilities okay because this this Queen of Pentacles has the energy of um, your money sector so a lot of people are going to be having this energy of this queen coming in to help you out to open up a new um, possibilities and situation is there any other message yes we have the energy of the king of Pentacles so this is going to be good a lot of um, people or going to be finding out that the energy of the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is wonderful because um, they can be coming in to bring stability to your financial life but they can be also coming in um, to help you out so um, this is really wonderful and positive so what does the King of Pentacles have to say the King of Pentacles has um, he is going to be helping you out um, there is conflict some of you could be having conflicts with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, with financial situation or with um, work and that sort of a thing so um, be aware of this okay be aware of this because um, you are seeing this um, happening what is going to be the outcomes of your money section no more worries no more worries okay so for um, so a lot of you um, your money section is going to be in stability you have no worries because it is going to be working out in a very 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 positive way as we look at the love section to see what is transpiring in the month of June in these general energies for the love section which I think I need more space for the love section um, um, let's see what is happening in love I think I have to um, rearrange these um, for love let's see what is happening for love um, wonderful wonderful ten of cups energy of the ten of cups energy of the ten of cups is coming in for love so it's going to be a very positive month for um, love extremely positive month for love that is going to be coming in let's see what uh, other information is here for love in June um, some of you are going to be uh, some of the women are going to be leaving a relationship behind some of the women are going to be thinking I'm leaving this relationship behind because there is something new that is coming out and this is going to be good there is going to be something new that is coming out in love and this is going to be good and then you have the energy of the six of um, Pentacles which mean um, help some of you new prospective new situation help is coming for you um, connection to connect you with the right people right places and the right time okay so um, this is um, also going to be um, positive so again um, love is going to be beautiful in this month of June um, a lot of happy 
um, connections a lot of happy meetings for love in this month of June um, it is going to be um, of a significant one for a lot of people because you are seeing what is coming forward and what is going to be happening so um, this is going to be one of the most um, positive months um, in um, this month of June okay so we have look at career we have look at money and we have look at um, love so um, there's going to be a lot of um, it's as if the sexual revolution for love is going to be coming up for you guys because what you're seeing here and what you're seeing now and what you're seeing taking place is that it's vacation time a lot of people are going to be connecting with people please use condoms please please use condoms if you are not um, ready for um, to get pregnant or that sort of a thing please use condom because obviously a new start is here and it can be um, that someone is going to um, be um, getting pregnant because um, the energy of that is here so um, you need um, to be um, very much very very much um, in the sense of knowing what you're doing in the month of June okay we're going to look at the sun sign and the moon sign um, sun and moon sign to see what is going to affect um, the sun and moon sign the energy of the sun and moon sign people we are going to be looking to see what is going to affect the sun and moon sign energies for um, people in the month of June so let's see what energy is coming up for the sun sign um, we have the energy of Neptune so for the Sun sign people your intuition is going to be very very high in the month of June um, so be aware that um, you're going to be your intuition is just going to be on um, top shape that it's going to be very very much um, high in the month of June for the people who were born between the hours of um, 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. Um, your intuition is going to be high. Then you have the energy with the, the Taurus, and um, this is um, a lot of people, especially in the financial sector of your reading. There's a lot of um, energy of the Taurus coming up. You have the Taurus woman and the Taurus man. So this is going to be in a business aspect or just um, on the work floor that sort of a thing or in friendship so the energy is for you sun sign people you are going to have to be dealing with the Taurus people okay we are going to be looking now at the moon and see what is happening for the people who are born after 6 p.m. you have the energy of Pluto and with the energy of Pluto with the moon section this is going to be a section where Pluto is coming in to reorganize certain aspects and areas of your life so you need to be aware of that okay and then um, you have the energy of the Leo's so this is good for the Leo's especially for the Leo's who were born in the night this is a good positive energy because what is going to be happening what is going to be transpiring is that you are going to be seeing these situations coming up and it is going to be a wonderful positive 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 month for you Leo's okay um, to recap um, the month and I am going to be um, doing a psychic um, um, a channeling part um, from the zodiac energies okay I might leave this on the side okay um, the month of June as we look at the energy in the month of June it's as if um, you have gone through from January until um, May you've gone through so many so many things and what is now happening especially there's healing the, the days for healing in the month of June is going to be Monday and Sunday so a lot of people Monday and Sunday is going to be an healing okay for this month of June um, Thursday or um, is it six percent um, Monday is going to play a significant role in a lot of people lives okay 
um, a lot of um, things are going to be happening and a lot of people will say yes of course I know that Monday but this month Monday has 32% of a lot of activities so a lot of things are going to be transpiring in, um, in on Mondays in in, in this um, in this um, month of June as we look at um, the next high roll date of June um, it's going to be um, with 13% of activities um, that is going to be on Monday so wow wow so um, this is a situation that is playing out here as we look um, at the other eye roll it's going to be on Sunday again no Saturday so Saturdays are like 10% activity so a lot of stuff is going to be happening and it's going to be happening on Saturday Saturday is going to be like 10% activity so this is going to be good so we have the highest days of activity is going to be Monday um, um, the second uh, is day with 13% that is going to be this Wednesday is Wednesday Wednesday and then um, on s Saturday we have the other um, is set of activity there is things that is going on on Friday but it's just 9% of things that will um, happen through these months that is going to be happening on a Friday so this is good so ladies and gentlemen I want to say thank you for um, returning thank you for another wonderful um, section positive energies that will be coming out this is going to be good because what is going to be transpiring is that wonderful positive situation is going to be happening in your life so this is going to be um, in a positive positive way to look ahead for this new start in this new month. Namaste until next time.